Alright, so in the previous video we showed you how you can create a simple 3D box and export it. Next, we're going to need two more programs and they are both free. So the first thing we need is a program called Pepakura. Now this program will take that 3D data file that we created in SketchUp and will unfold the object which will allow us to get vectorized data so we are able to import this into our cutting software. Now Pepakura is open to the public as shareware so it's free to try and you won't need to purchase anything in order to use it for the purposes that we are utilizing it for. Simply go to their website, click the link that will be in the description box, and choose their download section. Then you can select the Pepakura Designer. The other program that you will need is Cute PDF Writer. Now this is a free virtual printer allowing you to select it when you go to print. The results will be in a PDF file whenever you use this as a printer. So just go to cutepdf.com and click on the free download link. Once you installed it, you should be able to see it in your printer section. Okay, so once you open Pepakura, you'll need to set some things up. So go to the File menu and select Print and Paper Settings. Under that menu, you'll want to make sure that Print Lines Clearly Vector Print is selected and hit OK. All right, so we're ready to open up the file. Simply go to File, Open, or you can click the Open Folder button in the top left. Then you can choose our DAE file that we exported from SketchUp software. Then you'll see a box that we made has appeared on the left side. And all we have to do next is click the Unfold button. Now this automatically places it on the paper with all the tabs necessary for gluing. It even places the dashed lines on there for easy folding. Next, all we have to do is export this to something that Make the Cut or Sure Cuts a Lot can read, which is a PDF. Simply go to the File, Print, and we're going to choose the Cute PDF Writer to export this into a vectorized PDF file. Once you click Print, it will ask you where you'd like to save it, and you can hit the Save button. Now, you may not need the next video, but it's your choice. If you're using Make the Cut, go ahead and click the left image here to see Part 3 using Make the Cut. Likewise, if you're using Sure Cuts a lot, then choose the right image. If you can't click on anything, make sure you check the description box below for the direct link.